This segment brought to you by Santa Fe Trail Meets in Overbrook. Let us help feed your family. In 1806, an explorer named Zebulon Pike traveled through what became the eastern part of Kansas. And on September 12, he wrote in his journal, past very rough Flint Hills, my feet blistered and very sore. And with that, he gave our Flint Hills region its name. And he was right. You need to wear good boots out in these hills. This poem is uh, titled, The Kansas Flint Hills. A traveler leaves Kansas City, going west on interstate. He comes into a region which I want to celebrate. As he enters rolling rangeland, there's a sign his vision fills, a big sign of native stone saying, welcome to the Flint Hills. The region takes its name from a long ago hike when described as Flint Hills by explorer Zebulon Pike. The stones of Flint or Chert, which underlie this great landscape, over centuries made the hills with their unique slope and shape. Those rocks made it unsuitable for use by farmers' plows, but they made a perfect place to harvest grass by grazing cows. These hills underlain by rock are a wondrous part of God's creation, a special part of Kansas, and a treasure for our nation. It's the last remaining tall grass, a key site of prairie ecology, the home of grazing bison and Native American history. The Flint Hills of Kansas are the world's best for grass. When it comes to raising beef, this region's world class. So we celebrate this region and the need that it fulfills for ecology and people in the Kansas Flint Hills. Happy trails. What if U.S. soybean meal were more than a commodity? If seed companies and the soybean checkoff built a better variety? That future is here. The time is now. To meet end-user demands, the soybean checkoff is investing in the compositional quality of soybeans, including meal. A message from the Kansas Soybean Commission, the Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers.